Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Today is all about duping the vibes, and we are going to be doing a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance Palette, and I am using only my Natasha Denona singles today. If that sounds good to you, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you doing? Let me know how you are feeling in the comment section or the chat, whichever you prefer. I need to do a video about this, but I feel like the past two weeks have just been a little bit rough and I feel like I have fallen off with a lot of great habits that I developed over the summer. And I already said that it was gonna be tough, like figuring out a new schedule. But yeah, I've been feeling a bit down about it but I also realize that I feel down because I really made a lot of progress with my development of some great habits and uh, I'm going to get back on track. So anyway, I'll probably do a video all about it, but that's just a random thought that I wanted to share. It's hard getting back into the school routine and then try to integrate new things that I was doing over the summertime when I wasn't working. So that's where I'm at, but I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling especially good because I'm hoping that this video will do two things. It will give some look inspo to anyone who did purchase the ABH Fall Romance palette, or it will be inspo to dupe the palette with whatever you have in your collection. And with all the holiday stuff that I'm seeing pop up, the Halloween stuff, I just saw a teaser from Pat McGrath. August is calling me. Yeah, with all that stuff coming, we need to save our money. Now, I have not purchased anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills in over a year. And so when I saw the packaging, I was like, ooh, this looks really interesting. And when I saw the color story, I did think that it looked nice, but right away I was like, I know that I can dupe this palette. This palette is $55, there are reviews. And uh, this is gonna be a two-part video because I actually created two dupes for this palette. Today's dupe is solely using Natasha Denona shadows. And one thing I love about my girl Tasha is that her palettes are magnetic, so you can mix them up and put them back, make your own color stories, and I, I really love that. So I have a label maker. I labeled all of my shades, and it was really easy for me to just pop them out and put them in an empty palette to create this dupe. The second dupe that I created is just from my indie singles. So it'll be like ABH, but make it indie. So that'll be part two of this video. What I'm gonna do is read the shade descriptions from the ABH palette, and then tell you the shades that I chose and which palettes that they came from, from my Natasha Denona collection and swatch them. I will say that I was just looking at the ABH site and the palette looked a little lighter than what I've seen previously. So this isn't gonna be like right on, but it is gonna be inspo. And I think the looks that I created and I did create three will be great for anyone who actually has the palette or for someone who wants a palette inspired look. So let's go ahead and get into that. I'm gonna grab my notes and I'm gonna get on the ABH website. So I'm gonna just pop up the palette from the website. There's some stock photos. So I'm gonna just show you those various photos. You should be seeing them now. And then you'll kind of have an idea why I picked the shades that I did. Well, let me show you the palette, duh. All right, I turned the exposure down a little bit so you can see the palette. And this is my version of a fall romance Natasha Denona style. Now the first shade we have is called Smoke. It says Smoke Metallic. Silverish taupe with a green gold reflect. This shade definitely doesn't have that, but just looking at the pants, because remember I did this before the description came out and even still looking at pictures now, I thought that Muse from the new I Need a Nude palette would be a great choice for this shade. 
Now again, we don't have green gold reflex, but I'm not really seeing too much of the green gold reflex on the pictures that I have seen. So I'm staying with Muse. Next we have Moonlight. It's a duochrome lavender with a sparkling pink opal shift. I chose Aster from the Sunrise palette. The next shade is Fireside. It's a metallic rosy copper with sparkling reflex. And I chose the shade Vision from the My Dream palette. This one seems a little off to me, especially with the dual chrome, but I just felt like looking at it, it just gave me a rosy copper, like right there. I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be a nice addition regardless, so we're gonna stick with it. I think one of the standout shades in this ABH palette is the shade Divine, and for that, I chose Razzle Dazzle from the Circo Loco palette. Divine is a duochrome vivid purple with a sparkling pink pearl shift. And next we have the shade Crown, which is a duochrome gold with a sparkling green blue shift. I chose the shade Brass from the Natasha Denona gold palette. And last on the top row, we have Ember, which is a matte toasted brown with fiery reflex. I chose a matte shade, and this is Silhouette from the I Need a Nude palette. Probably should have swatched these closer together, so I'm going to just try to do that. And that's not swatching great, but this is a, a nice matte, though, but that swatch is a mess. We all get the point. So that's the top row. The next shade is Leather, which is a matte stone. This is from Metropolis, and my Metropolis palette was not in order, so it's what I call shade 26. I'm not really sure which shade it is, but it is from Metropolis. And this one is a cream to powder. So that's Amber. Next would be Thorns, which is a matte hunter green with sparkling reflex. And I chose another shade from Metropolis. This is number 27 in my palette. Another cream to powder shade. And you know, I don't really get too caught up in sparkling reflex, especially if it's a matte. I don't really like mattes with sparkles in them anyway. So I wasn't worried about that. The next shade we have is Crimson, which is a matte deep wine. I chose the shade Clove from the Sunrise palette. That's just a regular powder mat. Next we have Midnight, and this one's not labeled, but I wrote Natasha Denona uh, Swing from My Dream. This is a metallic smoky purple with sparkling reflex. I'm not sure what happened to my label. Next is Mulberry. This is one of the ones I questioned, but it's a matte reddish brown with sparkling reflex. I ended up going with the My Dream Familia shade. And again, like I said, some of these pictures were just a little off. And finally, we have Twilight, which is a matte deep grayish green. I chose the shade Zeal, and this is from the Zendo palette. Or as some people would say, Zen No. And I felt like this kind of had a, a grayish vibe. I don't know, the greens looked really similar to me. Uh, in a lot of the pictures I saw. Yeah, baby. I'm a ninja. Okay, let me do this and then you can tell them the joke. Okay, wait a minute, let me show them this. So here is my dupe for the ABH Fall Romance palette. Let me know what you think about this. Yeah, you're gonna tell them too? Okay, August, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me fix my lighting. What do you, what does the time say to the what did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless. You're pointless. I like it. And look, mm -hmm. how, how, how long does it take for you to go, to go somewhere this and it so takes 60 miles? How long does it take to go somewhere and it takes 60 miles? An hour. Okay, I'm not sure I get that one. That's not a joke. It's a question. 
Oh, I thought it was another joke. Why would that be a joke when I'm asking you? Okay. You asked me a question when you said, what did the circle say to the, the square say to the circle? You asked me that. All right, y'all, let's go ahead because it's getting late. I'm going to go ahead and get into three looks. So the first one, I told you a lot of y'all like the first look. And then I'm going to do these two. And then I will be back to wrap it up. Say bye because you're not going to be on the end of this. Bye, Mom. Bye, y'all. I mean, here's the looks. Hi. All right. We're going to get into a look. Got these fall ears here from my coworker who she went to a different school, Ms. Boker. All right, I still love her. Anyway, this is what we're working with and I'm just gonna play around. I haven't really done anything but pick the shades at this point and we're just gonna figure out something cute. Let's take this, oh, and I need to see what shade this would be. So let, let's do that, because this is inspo. Let's start with Crimson, which is Natasha Denona Sunrise, shade number 11. It's Clove, Sunrise 11, Clove. I'm taking a Singe Beauty EO2 brush, and these brushes are very soft. Let's hope my mic is on, it is. And I want it to be soft, because this palette doesn't really have the transition shades that we'd you know normally go with or that I normally go with on my face I'm wearing the hourglass foundation I'm wearing pink powder LYS concealer the blush is cosmic coral from Pat McGrath the lip is mocha glow from makeup by Mario I actually like these I was really mad when he was coming out with one a week remember that y'all he was coming out with one a week last summer I was like sir We'll just see how this does, cause I don't know, this one's, let's not do this one. Let's do the E03, a little bit bigger. Putting this on the outer corner, kind of at a diagonal in the crease. Very subtle that way, now that's the point. Oh, I just wanna go ride his bike. Oh, can I go ride my bike? Be my guest, August, but you about to be in here. He was back in here in like five minutes. But he's not really wheezing, which is great, it's just, post nasal drip is what I'm gathering. It's Sunday fun day, so I've had a mimosa. Yes, okay, I'm here for that. And I wanna put some food on the grill. Got a Ravens game today, so yes. And hoping with this inspo, you'll see that hopefully the ABH shades can diffuse out too. It just really depends on your brush because this brush is really soft. So a really fluffy blending brush, you can use some of these, probably most of the deep shades as a transition, which I'm into that. I know a lot of people were saying there are no uh, lighter shades or mid-tone shades, but just look at this, this looks really good. You don't need to put a whole bunch of pigment on your brush because it's really blending out great. Glad to see that because I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case. The next shade I'm going to use is going to be for Divine. Dual Chrome Vivid Purple with a sparkling pink pearl shift. I don't know if I have all that. We're going to go into a little razzle dazzle right here from the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. Yes, we are. Oh my gosh, y'all. Circo Loco is a palette that grinds my gears in the wrong way every time but i i love that i had this shade you know what i mean like i can use it with other things but that palette is just it just that could have been a midi she just a midi for circo loco please 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 tell me we ain't going to <laughs> y'all know what movie that's from dirty dancing <laughs> All right, oh my gosh, the things I remember from college, just little sayings that we did, that was one of them. Now this shade is a questionable choice for me, but I'm sticking with it, which is going to be Fireside, which is supposed to be a metallic rosy copper with sparkling reflex, and I went with Vision from the My Dream palette, because I don't care. I just felt like, I mean, it's gonna work, okay? 
it does have sparkling reflex it's a duochrome it's rosy but it's gonna give us a little bit of uh of extra and fireside i just felt like it should be a fiery shade you know what i'm saying so yeah i know it doesn't look like what the swatches look like but originally i had picked the shade and then to me it looked the same as one of the other ones and i was just like nope we're gonna go with this something special honestly this is pretty if I didn't know better, I wouldn't think these were Natasha Denona shades. At least for the shimmer. Yeah, love it. And now what we're gonna do is get into the lower lash line. And for that, I'm gonna use this green shade here on a shader brush. Now this is inspired by Thorns, which is described as a matte hunter green with sparkling reflex. I'm not huge on sparkly mattes. I don't think they show up too well and even if they did like who needs a sparkly mat that's just how i feel so we're just gonna put this underneath the lower lash line oh you know this is reminding me of um give me glow is it uh vintage rose vintage rose i don't know if it's vintage rose the first one whichever one the first one is just can't remember there's two of them I'm actually going to switch over to a pencil brush or kind of a pencil brush from Blend Bunnies. Just diffusing this green out. This one's really pigmented. I probably put a little bit too much on the brush, but that's all right. All right, here's what we have so far. And now we're going to get into the inner corner. Oh, wait, wait. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the shade inspired by Moonlight which is from sunrise number six it's the shade aster from all right here's look number one with my dupe for fall romance let me know what you think i'm gonna put on my liner and my mascara and then i'll be back to let you know my thoughts all right i am back with the finished look i love it Using a Victoria Beckham liner in the shade Olive, it's just a matte green. The Natasha Denona Macro Tech Pencil would work too, the one that came with the Yucca collection. I just didn't have that right here. I love this. And the palette is Vintage Rose from Give Me Glow that this look reminds me of. And I think this is just one of many looks that you are going to be able to create with the ABH Fall Romance palette. So I do wanna do one more look with this one and uh we're gonna go ahead and get into it now but i really love it and uh what i love the most is the contrast with the green i love it i, I think i really love it because it reminds me of the vivid rose and i just think the rest of the makeup looks great so again going into look number two all right we are going to get into two more looks with my dupe palette ears on all right one on each eye just so we can see what else. Ooh, that first look was good. A lot of y'all commented on that first look and now I don't know if I can top it. Hmm, what a predicament. Okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, that might be a cute idea, okay. I'm gonna go into the shade that's supposed to be leather, just this one here. See, now that I'm looking at this picture, I'm like, these colors look off, so I don't even know anymore. But either way, it's fun looking, Spo. And if you do get the palette, you know, you'll have something that you can do with it. I have a Morphe Coca-Cola brush. I'm just going to put that here. Oh, you might be able to hear August. He's really mad because River won't stop sending him voice messages. Like, yeah, voice messages. Like the voice texts. Cute. Okay let's go green we're gonna go green with the matte the one from metropolis thorns right here i don't know the colors on the abh site really look washed out to me so i don't really know i'm gonna use the same brush this is a cream to powder i believe sometimes i'm not in the mood for tasha's cream to powders but like right now i am so i'm not even mad at this Ooh, smoky Going back into the leather shade. Trying to blend this. This is gonna be really smoky. 
let me look at it from afar I always have to look at it from afar and my eyebrows are a little rough because I did not touch them up after work today I had on like a two and done look with some Cleona shadows I'm gonna just use a brush with nothing on it to continue to blend it's like really foresty okay yeah all right pretty good here next I want to go into a smoke what okay, I'm not sure why it's called smoke I know this is muse from the I need a nude Natasha Denona palette and I'm excited because I don't know if I did a look with this shimmer all over the lid and I thought it was one of the better shimmers in the palette and it wasn't even a wet effect I think it was just a shimmer a foil yes this is one of the better ones because don't get me started y'all this is cute not what I thought I was gonna do with this look but it's fine going into a pencil brush back into the leather shade for the lower lash line And then we're going to take the vision shade in the inner corner of the last eye look. I think I used the moonlight shade. So that's this one, vision. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. The fireside shade is what I want to use for the inner corner highlight. I hope that's not what I did last time. If it is, I'm sorry. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, that's look number two. It's cute. It's not my favorite. Look number one was that look, okay? It was that girl. But we're going to go ahead to look number three. Let us... Okay, I think I have an idea. We're going to go into the mulberry shade, which that's all I was saying. This one doesn't really look mulberry, and it doesn't have any sparkles in it. But at the time, I picked out what I thought would work. Hmm. Did you know how to light it you can do this? To light it? To light it. No, not right now. You gotta get a lighter. Do you like just push it down and then uh, it's gonna uh, start? No, that's not how it works. Rough for 27. No, you don't have any business lighting this anything. One. No. I just wanna learn how to light it. For what? What do you need to light? Like if I wanna light the candles, I'll do it. But we're not lighting any candles. And if you do, it's gonna be under my supervision. Under my guidance in parenting. Oh, so you can put it down. Do you want your door no, I don't want my door closed for I once. I don't. You know why? Are the noodles ready? I will check the noodles. August thinks he's slick. Like, you're not going to. You know why? Because August wants to do this trick. Tell, oh, come oh. tell them about I thought the trick I was cool. Light okay. Light light no, but you want to do the trick and you can tell, tell them what to do. Because you have to do your study game. That's a nice shade. I where's the shade from? My dream. Okay, my dream. You may not. The Peloton is for adults. We're gonna use Ember, which is silhouette from the I Need a Nude Snooze palette. Okay. You just move from one thing to the next. I use your twelve by twelve weights. My twelve by twelve weights. Mm -hmm. What are, what kind of exercise are you doing? Move in. August, you can't. How are you gonna do a pull up with weights? I did one. With weights? No. Yeah. Pull ups are like. You mean bicep curls? No. Pull ups. Okay, can you show me how this looks? How you do a pull up with weights? Because maybe I'm confused. I can do it with weights, but I can do it without weights. Okay, and what do you pull up on? I'm I just... pull up on my bed. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Don't do that. What? Why would you pull? Hey! What else am I supposed to pull up on? Not your bed. What then? Exactly. <sighs> Can't. Um, we're gonna go what? into crown, which the is door? from the gold palette, I believe. No, crown. you have to get special equipment to do pull-ups. Like, mm -mm. well, I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I really love the physical fitness. Ooh, that's cute. Ooh, okay. Kobe. I kind of like that. I don't know if it's because he's, you know, having a lot of asthma treatments and he just went back to school. So 
we're really high going into midnight which is gonna be this one here with the pencil brush on the lower lash line Nope, we have a lot to do, including studying. Okay, no, we have to study for your math test. After? No. Why? Friday, you can have a bath. That's cute. I can't remember, did we do Moonlight in the first look? Let's just put it back. I was gonna do Muse again, but I'm gonna go with Moonlight. Oh my gosh, she's so much right now, y'all. All right, ooh, okay, okay. Looks number two and three. Let's turn this down just a taste. There. Just look number two. Don't mind the brows. And look number three. It's both. I'll be back with my liner and mascara and we will wrap up this video. All right, back with looks two and three. I was about to say three and four. Like girl, you did not. And what did I use? Oh, I used the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Overdrive, which is a matte green. Yeah, well, it's a little satin green. I was looking for the uh, Natasha Denona one, but I can't find it for right now. This is Punchy from Maybelline Vinyl. Yes, Bohemian Girl from RMS Beauty. And mascara is Tarte Man Eater. I found that in my drawer and I'm gonna be trying to use up this stuff that I have. All right, what do I think about this dupe? I don't think it was exact and that's absolutely fine because I didn't need it to be. What it was, was enough to show me that I can definitely dupe the vibes of the Fall Romance palette and then some. I also got a chance to delve into some Natasha Denona palettes that I don't use that much and use some shades. Like Circo Loco is a Circo no-no in my life. I try, it's not happening. The gold palette, might have used one time. What else do we have here? Metropolis, not my favorite for whatever reason. My dream's not even my favorite. I don't think I'm gonna reach for the I Need a Nude palette a lot. The Sunrise palette, that's another one I really don't use a lot. So this, this was good. This was really good. I'm glad I did this. And as I said in the intro, which I'm about to film, so I'll make sure I say it, there will be a part two. It'll be the ABH Fall Romance palette, but make it indie. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming soon. And that is gonna be it for this video. Please let me know if you did purchase the ABH Fall Romance palette and what you think about it, or let me know if you skipped it or you tried to dupe it yourself. I would love to know and what shades you used as well. And with that being said, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, blah.